page, Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising. This is Tina with 85th House Vibrations, and this is your general monthly reading for February 2019. I hope everybody is doing well. <clears throat> this is a general reading. It won't resonate with everybody. Um, rabbit, Rabbit. It's the first of the month, and the moon is in Capricorn. <clears throat> Today, Mars is squaring Pluto, so yeah, there could be some hostile, even volatile stuff that comes up. Um, somebody on Twitter described it best as this conjunction has, I mean, I'm sorry, this square has no chill. So if you you feeling like you want to snap somebody's neck today, try to hold back. This too shall pass. So I guess let's go ahead and go over a few aspects. We've got the new moon happening on February 4th at 15 degrees of Aquarius. Um, so wherever Aquarius is in your chart, look for the new moon happenings to be happening in that area of your life. This new moon is not making any negative aspects, so that's a good thing. But, you know, of course, there are always other things going on in the universe. But as far as what the new moon represents ushering in, um, <clears throat> the stirrings of, of new sorts of emotions and feelings of emotional security, there are things going on in the subconscious that are just starting to come up again to be revealed more and more as the moon goes through its phases up until it reaches the full moon. We are going to do three cards today and we'll pull a clarifier if we need to. Keeping it light, I've got surgery coming up in three weeks and it's just a lot of preparation up until I have that surgery. So lots more going on and I, uh, my, my time is a little bit limited or restricted. I don't know what's the right word to use. So let's go ahead and get started. We have got the Emperor reversed. That's a major arcana. We got the Judgment card in the upright position. This is also a major arcana. Arcana. <laughs> and this is the Five of Swords reversed. Alright, Gemini. I mean the Five of Wands reversed. So, um, you know, this is funny because this is a Mars card and this is a Pluto card. And, um, well, this, this card is ruled by Aries. And Aries is ruled by Mars. Um... <clears throat> I think that is kind of wild that that would come up that way. So let's talk about it. We got the emperor reversed. And I'm so sorry, my, I keep needing to clear my throat, excuse me. Okay, so the emperor reversed is generally a masculine energy. Um, he's generally very forceful and aggressive and, and he's a leader. Uh, competitive <clears throat> to the utmost because he's the emperor. He's the ruler. And like I said, this is an airy sign. So this is real hot. It's real impulsive. But he stands his ground and he holds his ground and nobody challenges him because he's the emperor and he's got the power to back it up. Well, He's reversed. That's my washing machine singing a song, if you can hear that. So, in his reverse position, he's the opposite of those things that I just mentioned. Uh, to the point where he is uh, completely devoid of, devoid or void, I don't know which word to use there of his power, of his leadership skills. 
he's in complete lack of those things. Or he could be using them in a way that this could be a guy who rules with an iron fist. So it could be either one of those extreme situations. Well, you want to be really, really careful with the emperor coming up against Pluto, the judgment card. And this is taking up the center of the reading. So this is a powerful message because these are the big life lessons. The major arcana are the trump cards. This is definitely happening in your close personal relationships. I was just kind of looking at the numerology. There's something that is on the table that is, I mean, it, it's not light. It's not like somebody's trying to make light of it with the five of wands reversed. But that is in order to keep down drama. And Gemini, I feel like um, as forward as you can be with your communication skills, I've been seeing this come up with Gemini energy a lot lately where Gemini um, may be standing down not really wanting to cause drama so you know they're holding back on the the way that they really want to express themselves I think even to the point of something lightweight physical it's not major because the five of wands doesn't indicate major conflict if this thing were to get physical it's very very deep Please don't get me wrong. And if he's the type of emperor that rules with an iron fist, there are situations where things could get physical, but it won't go too far because somebody's not willing to, somebody don't want them hands. And, and then maybe on the other side, somebody is saying, you know, please don't make me give you these hands. I know violence isn't the answer, but this is, uh, I, like I said, this Mars-Pluto alignment and we have squaring right now today is violence. It is violence. When you put Pluto and Mars together, things can get physical, <laughs> you know, and I'm certainly not making light of that because he's a heavy hitter, the Pluto card, and this is judgment. And what this means is that I said what I said. You know, this is the final judgment. This is the final call. This is wake up to the truth. The hard truth. The low down dirty truth. And don't get mad because I told you the truth. So you could definitely find somebody that is on the defense. Or completely tower. I mean cowering away from a real heavy truth that has come up. Um, uh, uh, let's go ahead and see if, if we can find out anything about what the judgment card is about. The judgment card is giving me some serious energy. I've never felt that. Even though I have mad respect for the power of Pluto, I just never felt the kind of energy that I feel as I'm working with this card right now. Look at those eyes too. The truth has been revealed and somebody's making a final decision today, baby. And uh, <clears throat> just I warn you to be careful and to not put yourself in any dangerous situations. Okay, it's because the celebrations are over and the truth is being told and somebody's speaking from the heart. Somebody is speaking from a place of feeling. This is... There's nothing, there's nothing, like I said, lightweight or mediocre about this situation, about this situation, whatever it is, you know, that you may have glossed over and, you know, you kept in with the celebrations and all of that stuff. 
as of this moment that comes to an end the celebrations are over it's a wrap for that now I, i'm coming from a place of feeling and this feeling that i feel uh may not be one that you like is what somebody is saying or is what somebody is is portraying i think that Rep repressed anger plays a role in this definitely and you've got to be careful with repressed anger which is something that we may be dealing with with Uranus moving into uh, that 29th degree of Aries which is um, it's the critical degree uh, I can't even think of the name of it now oh my goodness I've been working with this word since I've been working with astrology. Um, oh, darn it. It's what we call the anoretic degree. Yeah. That's happening on the on the 6th. So this power is building up with this Mars-Pluto square aspect that we're having right now. And then even more so as Uranus, the, the planet of um, uh, explosiveness, not in the sense that Mars is explosive, but in the sense that it um, it does things that are unexpected. Things pop up. And a lot of times these things aren't comfortable. Uranus is a, he, he's a rebel and, and he's a revolutionary. So a lot of times you can see things happen just out of the blink of an eye. Somebody wants to be free from something. And I think it's, you know the ties that bond by an unspoken truth somebody wants out and somebody's willing to speak on it and it's not going to be an easy thing for another person to digest is what i'm feeling so all of this i think comes from a place of repressed anger this is something that's been held in for quite some time and it's it's a wrap not willing to celebrate that negativity anymore not willing to pretend that it doesn't exist and you know there comes a time when that is just what has to be done i think i said this in one of your videos before gemini and that is when will you choose you so that's the way i see it if you would like to get a personal reading with me my information is in the description box below uh, thank you so much for stopping by if you're a first time viewer giving the video a chance and if you are somebody who's returning thank you so much for coming back that's it and i hope to talk to you guys again next month